We've reached out to 44 communities across uh, Ontario that have had youth come and participate. They need to have time to kind of shake some of the challenges that they arrive in camp with and then to start feeling the change. We're trying to get kids ready for success at college or university, ready for success as you know, leaders of a family and having to go to work every day and support themselves. We're, we're trying to build those tools that help them get that leg up to make their next steps. You're going to learn a lot of things, but above all, you're going to learn about yourself. You're going to see a path for yourself. I came here because I heard a lot of things from my brother who came two years in a row and he loved it. You were here, this would be getting caught on everything. Here you get to do a lot of things, you get to like build up your experience with like fire safety and their awareness. Not the stuff they teach you on the reserve. It's got your curiosity peaked, right? For the past two weeks before I came here, I was doing nothing. I was just like hanging around with friends. And so you just kind of listen to people talk and try to Try to take in everything and wrap your head around all the safety rules and stuff, you know. I felt like there could have been more, like for my age group growing up. Like in terms of like this program, it's pretty awesome that the kids have it now. The first word that my grandfather taught me was mashkausun. But it's the strength that comes from your thinking, the strength that comes from your feeling, the strength that comes from your soul. The success of the camp works well is when we have a clear mind, and we have a clear heart, we have a clear body, and a clear spirit. And I hope that you can respect that. We have four needs. You only gotta remember four things here. I got a job back with Outland as a cultural advisor for Mink Lake. My job description is I have to sing with the kids, I make hand drums with them, I teach them about our culture. It's a pretty big thing for me because uh, I was kind of like one of the guys who always like did the bad things, you know, not listen, always fall asleep in class. The only influence to these youth is me. I wake them up and I tell them, keep their head in the game, go grab a coffee, wake yourself up so you guys know what you're doing when it comes to it. Here goes your bonus! I, I love to sing when I sing. When I feel down, I sing. When I feel angry, I sing. I wanted to invite uh, Chief Norman Jordan to say the prayer first to get us started. And then we'll get into some, uh, some quick speeches. And then after that, we'll have our, our meal. <coughs> I think sometimes coming to, to Outland is such a growing experience and a nurturing experience that it can help, it can help uh, people move forward sometimes. Even though they've come here carrying some issues, they, they can actually uh, do some growth. And I'm not going to say I'm the same thing. Originally I was supposed to come here for the training. Again, I was really struggling. Uh, as my life on the outside world, like struggling to get food, struggling to get a job, trying to maintain my balance. But really, it's hard out there when you're just a young 18-year-old boy on your own. Really? <laughs> Why? I really like this program. It's got a lot of, a lot of things to go with it. A lot of medicine teachings, things, and everything you need. There's people around here to support me and help me, but I'm not really the kind of person to ask for support and help. I like to get through stuff on my own. But really, <laughs> you got your... Uh, How are you doing? I'm glad to see, you know, young people here with the opportunity to, you know, to bloom in life, to bloom. I was blessed to fall into this, this have this camp setting to start me off in my my career and you know it was just it's a great experience coming here i started off here as a ranger did my two years when i was here as a ranger i saw you know i saw a crew leader and i was like you know i want to be a crew leader 
I used this experience to go across the road at Quetico Provincial and use that experience to come back as a crew leader in training. And then I used that experience to work my way back into Quetico to a higher position. I love being in the park. It's just something that, you know, it, it feels at home for me. I've been hoping to gain a lot out of the program, a lot of team building skills, more uh, friendships. We're going out on the canoe and we are also going to learn how to uh, steer the boat properly and how to make quick turns without tipping. I worked for the Ministry of Natural Resources last summer and this is a lot different than that. I'm really Hi. looking forward for the rest of the summer. Get down nice and low and you want to cut with the bottom part of your saw and just let the weight of the saw go right through the wood. This is the first time I have used a chainsaw and I'm pretty excited. I'm kind of nervous about it too. I, I'm scared of a lot of noises so, and it's loud. I'm excited though to say I've done it after I did it. Not that bad? No, it was wasn't fun. too bad, right? No. It felt really good. Like I was kind of nervous at first and I was shaking it like when I was doing it, I was like, oh my god, I'm gonna drop it, I'm scared. But other than that, it was really fun. My hands still feel weird, it was vibrating a lot. And I really enjoyed it. Now I can say that I did it and now I can go break to all my other friends who haven't done it. <laughs> Personally, it's my first time ever felling a tree. It's hard work uh, operating a chainsaw, and I really like it. After the summer's over, I'll be in school, and I'll have all this certification and all this new knowledge that I've been gaining while I'm here, and I could share that with, with my friends back home. Hey, leave me alone, man. We're making some raisin, raisin bannock. So when it turns, yeah, you do pretty good. They can move on to bigger and better things, like become a, a force manager, you know, or take over the superintendent's job. <laughs>